This is much better. It's the 1979 French Grand Prix, and with a couple of laps to go, René Arnoux in yellow Renault is challenging Gilles Villeneuve in a Ferrari for second place. Now today, overtaking doesn't really happen in F1 because the drivers are too rich and too worried about their hairstyles. But Arnoux made it and stayed in front until one lap later, when, in an evenly matched car, Villeneuve threw his hairstyle to the four winds and went for it. The greatest tussle Formula One has ever seen was about to begin. Villeneuve was now in front, but Arnoux in front of his home crowd in a French car had the red mist. As the last lap began, he was right up the Ferrari's gearbox. In the ensuing right-hander, he had the inside line, but Villeneuve had the balls, and the two of them went round side by side. Neither would give up, and on the exit they banged wheels. Arnoux made it pass but ran wide, and in a flash, Villeneuve was back in front. For these two drivers, it was no longer a race, it was war. They banged wheels again and again, and this time, Arnoux came out in front. But not for long. Villeneuve charged up the inside, took the lead, and the battle was over. But think about it. Five overtaking manoeuvres in a little over one lap between the same two cars. Today, if a driver gets overtaken, he never, ever fights back. And if there's the slightest bit of contact, they go in the gravel trap. These guys hit each other three times and kept going. They were driven men, they were racers, and that is what the sport is missing today. Jean-Pierre Jabouy won the race, but nobody cared. They'd seen the greatest duel ever. And it had featured Gilles Villeneuve, who, no arguments please, was the greatest driver to have plonked his bottom in a Formula One car.